You have a quick question. Uh, you go to NYU? Oh, yeah. Have you heard of the website Rate My Dorm before? No. It's like a dorm review website, no? Oh, no. I would be happy if one in 10 people have heard of the site. Rate My Dorm is a review website for college dorms, and it's a website that I've been working on for the past two years. I've been documenting my journey and my progress on this YouTube channel, and today is the final episode of the series. April was a great month for the website. In that month, people got accepted into colleges, people have been choosing dorms, so the traffic is like at an all-time high right now. And I'm gonna give you guys an update about everything. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by Grammarly. I have a quick question. Oh, yeah, you know me. You. I was gonna ask if you've heard of Break My Dorm before. Yeah, I have. Okay, sweet. Will you watch my videos? Yeah. Nice to meet you. All right, I'm gonna count that one for one. Honestly, April was so long and all I did was Break My Dorm, so I have a lot of stuff to like catch you up on. So from April 1 to April 30, Break My Dorm had 30,000 users. 26.2K out of the 30,000 users came from Google search. And that to me is like the greatest proof of concept that I could have asked for. Because if you look at the top ways that people found Rate My Dorm, people are actually typing in, like learning about their dorms, like best dorms at University of Florida, CU Boulder, NYU, you know, over a thousand queries of just different reasons why they want to learn about their dorms. And yeah, it just goes on and on and on. And you can see how many clicks I get per query. And one thing I noticed, the ones that perform the best from Google SEO, the ones that show up here and the top results here are the schools on the website that have over 100 reviews, more or less. Which makes sense because Google loves websites that have a lot of content. They're not going to rank one of my pages that has like one review because there's pretty much nothing on there. Why would Google serve that? Have you heard of Rate My Dorm before? It's like like a dorm review website. Uh, no. Have you heard of Rate My Professors? Yeah, Rate My Professors. So there's RateMyDorm.com and it's like a dorm review website. I made it. I'm just wondering oh. if people heard about it. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Have a good one. Something that Rate My Professors does really well that I aspire to have that level. People don't really Google professors' names. They go on Rate My Professors just from like legacy and from like word of mouth. And I figured buying the domain name Rate My Dorm, since it sounds like Rate My Professors, is kind of easy to remember. How do you like know what's a good dorm right now? What's oh, right now, just word of mouth. Word of mouth. Reddit. And if you want to write a review right now, I'll give you a $10 gift card, Starbucks. I'll do it. All right, my see dorm, ya. Man. <laughs> So something that I learned from looking at the Google Search Console, looking at the top search queries, people are typing in their school name, dorms ranked, NYU dorms ranked, UW dorms ranked. And after finding out that everyone's typing in that phrase, for every school that has a decent number of reviews, let's go to USC for example, we're gonna automatically generate a page with that exact title, just so that Ray by Dorm could be number one for all of those search queries. So that's been pretty cool. I've been seeing a lot of conversions to Ray by Dorm because of the ranked dorms page showing up on Google. I also started started a blog section on the site and this is all voluntary. If you want to write a blog about your school dorms, you can let me know. This is just going to further help SEO. Like a lot of people are typing in best dorms at UCLA. How did you hear about Rate My Dorm? I heard it from your YouTube videos. Right, I'm giving $10 gift cards oh, for people shit. that have heard about it. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I feel like I've coded everything I feel like I needed to code and I now just have a Slack channel with a bunch of like interns with brand ambassadors and now I'm just like managing people to get content for the website. Also managing people to make content for the social media. And that's something that I also took seriously in the month of April. Here's at Rate My Dorm Instagram and what I do is I post dorm tours filmed by people that want to volunteer to be on the page and some videos do well like this video of NYU Shanghai this one has like a quarter million views this is day one of rating the dorms at NYU Shanghai we're gonna start off with my room I've been thinking about doing rate my dorm social media for the longest time like over a year so I love that I actually got around to doing that do you guys go to NYU yeah, yeah. have you heard of the website rate my dorm yeah. com? are you wait are you wait what's your name Jed yeah okay, no, dang yeah, it. I've seen you. <laughs> Okay, so you heard from that. What about you? How did you hear about it? Someone posting about it on Instagram. Oh, nice. Well, I'm giving $10 gift cards if you've heard of it. So, oh, oh. there you go. Starbucks. Wow, our lucky day. Thank, Thank you for watching my videos. Bye, guys. Right now, there's less than 20 schools that have over 100 reviews. So, there's so much room for improvement with SEO because I have like 200 schools on the site. And my next short term goal is to get more brand ambassadors, one from every school. And I want every school on Rate My Dorm to have over 100 views so that every school is doing really well on SEO. In terms of how I'm gonna pay for these brand ambassadors, pretty much my income from YouTube just feeds and just supports Rate My Dorm. One way you guys could support me and this YouTube channel and Rate My Dorm is to listen to the sponsored message from Grammarly. So today's Grammarly message is a little bit different because they just launched Grammarly Go, which brings the power of generative AI to the Grammarly experience. If you're a fan of AI assistants, trust me, you're gonna wanna see how this works because writing emails has never been so easy. When I click reply to an email, Grammarly Go prompts me the reply quickly button. First thing I notice here is the sender's intent, and from there, Grammarly Go gives me a few options. I can set my voice and determine whether I want to sound casual, neutral, or formal, and then I personalize my tone. Grammarly Go gives me some ways to reply, 
Here, for example, I'll click the first one, and if I like it, I'll insert that into my email. I can also just input a prompt, and Grammarly Go provides innovative ideas to help get my creative juices flowing. Another cool thing is their rewrite power. Oftentimes, I'll just write the bare bones reply and use Grammarly Go to help structure my words to sound more friendly or more professional. This has been a real time saver for me. For all the emails I need to get to daily, Grammarly Go lets me quickly achieve the best output possible. You'll be amazed at what you can do with Grammarly Go. Sign up at grammarly.com slash Jed and get 20% off Grammarly Premium. I've been building in public for Rate My Dorm stuff for the past like year and a half, but after working on it for the past 30 days, something that I've seen is that I no longer feel like I'm building it and I feel like it's already built and all I need is more content, like more reviews, more blog posts, more forum comments. I realized that this is also the last time I want to talk about Read My Dorm on this channel. Unless something crazy happens, like I sell it. I'll probably continue talking about Read My Dorm on like Twitter or TikTok, if anything, so you can follow me there. But on YouTube, I feel like I want to start a new phase of content. And yeah, I love that I have all this Read My Dorm videos online. You know, when I look back at it in like three to five years, I'm sure it'll be crazy to see the progress and the difference. Have you heard of the website Rate My Dorm before? No, I haven't. Have you heard of Rate My Professors? Yeah. Yeah, if you want to write a review, I'll give you a $10 gift card. It's like a two minute process. I'll tell you. Yeah? yeah, Starbucks? Okay, sweet. Thank you. $10. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good one. Your website's fantastic. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's crazy looking back at versions one, two, three of the website. You know, progress doesn't feel drastic until you look back to where you started. Rate My Dorm honestly has a long way to go before making it big, but I almost feel like a sense of relief seeing the traffic from Google search in April. And I guess I feel like if that worked out for 10 to 15 schools, Imagine the traffic with 100 plus schools. So that's the goal I'm trying to hit next. Ray My Dorm is something that I'll always be working on and I think it's gonna take at least two to three more years before it's truly something worth selling. I guess I just wanted to close off this Ray My Dorm chapter on YouTube because yeah, like I think the site's on autopilot. I have people that I want to manage. Yeah, what's up? I was gonna ask people if they've heard of Ray My Dorm before. Of course I have. <laughs> what? Have you heard of Ray My Dorm? Ray My Dorm? It's like a dorm review website. No, no like I just want to find one person that found Raid My Dorm from like Google. That's all I want. And then I'm going to leave. I have two more gift cards left. No, three more. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. That's it. Hi, Kavya. Thanks for watching my videos. They say that progress is the key to happiness. And when I think about my time having a full-time job, I remember being really excited about YouTube when I first started doing it on the side. And I realized it's that progress on YouTube is very measurable. You know, there's numbers, there's subscribers, there's views, whatever, which at the time was such a breath of fresh air, which is why I think it's really important to work on like side projects, passion projects, because progress in that arena is way more like measurable and also more meaningful. So YouTube, when I first started out, was really rewarding because of that measure of progress. And I think that's why I found a lot of joy in working on Rate My Dorm and documenting it on YouTube because I set little goals for myself for that site and every time I reach it, that keeps me pushing forward. Have you heard of the website RateMyDorm.com before? Yes. Yeah? How'd you find out about it's it? TikTok. Like when they go on the door and I record it. Yeah, they, I made the website, so I'm giving $10 Starbucks gift card. <laughs> That's it? Appreciate it. Uh, Have a good one. Honestly, the reach from social media is so underrated. It probably takes so much more work to get reach from Google search, but just post it on TikTok and like anything can blow up. In the meantime, I'll still be doing YouTube and um, I guess I'm opening my mind to working on something next. I have merch and stuff coming out soon, but I want to work on another app. I want to keep coding because coding really is one of my favorite passions to do. Have you guys heard of the website RateMyDorm.com before? No, no worries. Thanks. Hi, I was just asking people if they've heard of my website RateMyDorm.com. You haven't? Okay, no worries. <laughs> have you heard of the website RateMyDorm.com? I have not, no. Have you heard of Rate My Professors? I have. Hi. Hi. I think I know you. Yeah? Yes. Have you heard of RateMyDorm.com? Yes. Nice. I know you. But you know from my videos? Yes. Shoot. <laughs> nice to meet you. What's your name? Sanam. I'm Jed. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. A lot of college kids watch me, so being in Washington Square Park, not getting a great sample of just random people. I feel like I told the story of Rate My Dorm to like its extent. And uh, it's cool that there's people here just like that were there since like episode one of the, of the whole startup building in public thing. Life changes are kind of like the bread and butter of lifestyle vloggers. If you think about a lifestyle vlogger's biggest stories and biggest videos, they're usually like big life changes, like moving into a new city, stuff like that. And I think I attribute my frequent inconsistency on YouTube to that. Oftentimes, I feel like I haven't made enough life changes or life progress to have a story worth telling. I just feel like I don't have enough stories to tell, which is why sometimes I just don't post for a month and I'll work on something like Ray My Dorm where like, okay, I'll make progress here and then I'll share it, which is kind of like what I did um, right now. I think that goes back to like how I made videos in college. I would like film cinematography for like months and then post every like one in six months. Anyway, that's why I found a lot of joy in working on Ray My Dorm 
seeing the progress going from like zero to a thousand views, a thousand to four thousand views. And my next goal for the rest of the year um, is going to 10,000 views. Follow me on TikTok and Twitter for more building and public stuff for Rate My Dorm specifically. Have you heard of RateMyDorm.com before? I haven't. Have you heard of Rate My Professors? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? I was here yesterday. What are you doing here today? Have you heard of Rate My Dorm? Uh, is that your website? <laughs> yeah. If there's something that I learned from asking people in the streets if they've heard of my site, is that Rate My Dorm has a long way to go. I want to be at a place where every college student has heard of Rate My Dorm, just like how they've heard of Rate My Professors. It's going to take a few years before I get there, and that's a journey that I'm going to continue off of my YouTube channel. Rate My Dorm is more or less built already, but the journey has just begun. I want to have a new story to tell on this YouTube channel, so stick around. I'll be posting every week, and I will see you guys soon.